everybody how's it going welcome back to my channel my name is Edgar Calva and today I wanted to actually focus on making a video about a, a specific plant that I uh, really like and this is the miniature monstera or the mini monstera also known as the Fridophora tetrasperma oh this is so hard to make to to um to say it but um I'll add it so you guys can see how it's spelled and um in this video I actually wanted to give you guys some tips about the care and also give you guys a demonstration about the uh, propagation and I'll show you guys my mother plant and later on give you guys updates about my propagation so you guys can see how my plant is doing and we can go from there. Care, this is such a simple and easy plant to take care of. I'm being completely honest. This plant grows so quickly. It's, uh, it's something that balances out because this is a plant when it comes to bruising and sunlight. So you gotta make sure that this plant gets Bright indirect light, but does not get no direct sunlight any time of the day because if it does, it's really easy for the leaves to actually be burned. If you can actually achieve getting your plant in a place where it's going to get bright indirect sunlight, you'll be just fine. Now, let me tell you guys that with this plant, it has you have to have a well drained soil just like other Monstera. I personally use 60%. Miracle Girl and 40% Perlite. Other people make their own soil, which that's fine, but that's what works for me. My plant is currently growing. I mean, it's healthy and likes it, so so that's that. As during spring, summer, and fall, this plant grows like crazy. This plant likes to have a lot of humidity, so make sure you have like a sprayer or a humidifier to be able to balance that out. Other than that, you can just fertilize it once a month and the plant will be completely fine. Obviously, on the co colder weather, try not to water it as much and, um, and your plant will actually just try. But let me tell you guys, if you guys are actually planning on buying this plant and you are going to order it from somewhere on, on the internet, make sure that you expect some type of damage. Like I said, this plant is really sensitive and it gets bruised pretty quick. So that's what happened to me. Obviously when my plants arrived, there was a lot of uh, um, bruise leaves, a lot of dead leaves, and uh, some of those were affected and there were the, the, the leading stems. So just make sure that um, you are expecting some type of damage. Hopefully everything goes well and you get no damage at all, but um, this plant is pretty sensitive when it comes to the, yeah. it's a pretty easy plant to take care of. So I'll show you guys actually um, one of them. Uh, so this is one that I actually, that actually came with the package of the uh, six uh, different plants that I, that I ordered. And as you guys can see on the stem, this, this leaf is pretty damaged. This one is as well. If you guys see from here and up, this is six new leaves that have uh, grown pretty quick within two to three months. And um, look at the size of the stem. I mean, this plant grows like crazy. So this is actually one of the ones that I'm going to propagate. Um, I hate having uh, such long stems with no leaves. So I'm gonna I'm try to get uh, two different cuttings from this same, uh, this same plant and go from there. This is another one, like I said, you know, expect some type of damage. This was some of the original damage that it came with. Now this plant has four new leaves with um, with the period, with the two to three month period, which is, it's not bad for being, um, uh, for being in, uh, in, cold, in cold weather. And as you guys can see, this is another one. I lost the leading stem. One, two, three, four new leaves. So like I said, it grows pretty fast, but this was the original leaves that came with, and obviously some of them have really bad damage. Now, let me tell you guys, now obviously we all know that propagating, um, basically it creates more growth, but I was actually pretty surprised because with one of the, one of the specific plants that I bought, one of them had a really bad um, damage uh, leading stem so basically the top off was just completely gone and this plant actually created different uh different shoots all over the place and now it has two actually leading ones that are grown out and um a bunch of little shoots still coming out so i'll actually give you guys a whole video i'll give you guys a whole video of the uh of the plant that i actually put all together in in the pot and putting all these four plants together with the 
with the moss ball so you guys can see how this looks like and then we'll move forward with the propagation so let's get to it okay you guys so you guys can see this is the uh plant that i put together so it's actually four different plants in that same planter and it's the self-watering um pot that you buy let me tell you guys with the with the moss paw it's actually creating a lot more area roots compared to the other ones so let's actually get in here so i can show you guys a little bit more let me kind of try to show you guys all around so you guys can see this is a little a smaller one but it has this leading stem this leading stem and it has more actually on the back and these were one these were some of the ones that had um, damage on the leading stem so it actually created more growth and honestly this is a plant that i feel that it loves the humidity so with um with the musk paw it definitely it definitely helps out now this is another example. I don't know if you guys can see. This is one, this is two, and then it's creating one on the, on the side, on the back. And the same thing for this one. One here and one on the other side because they were so damaged that it just created a lot more, uh, more shoots. So don't be scared to propagate, guys. She wants to see everything that I'm doing. She don't leave me alone. <laughs> and I do root rotate the planner. FYI. All right, guys, so let's get to it. So to start off, I'm just gonna disinfect uh, my cutting scissors uh, with some uh, hand sanitizer. You can use alcohol, um, anything you like. Make sure you disinfect your scissors at all times. Let me tell you guys, I actually never, on the beginning, I never disinfected my scissors and I just couldn't understand why my propagations were dying. Okay, so I want to take three cuttings out of the whole plant. I mean, I can tell that there's a new plant coming out there. Um, I'm probably going to leave the first leaf. Okay. So now this is the way that I'm that I'm personally going to do it myself. If you guys can look at the back, um, there's some area roots, but they're not as long as I hope. So what I'm gonna do with this plant, I'm first gonna start off by doing uh, probably like two to three weeks on water propagation. And then after that, I'm just gonna transplant it to uh, soil. Now, if you actually have long, long enough area roots, you can just plant it directly to the soil. Uh, I'm just doing this just so it can actually create more, uh, more roots and um, have a better success on propagation. See, these are the original leaves that came with the plant. You guys can see how, how damaged they got with the shipping. Yeah, horrible. I'm getting rid of these two leaves. Literally, if you just pop them back, they come off. So I think my first cutting is gonna be right here. Okay, so as you guys can see, I just did a regular cut. This plant is gonna create more growth on these two, um, from either two sides of the stem. So let's see. I could either just put this on water and it'll create more of uh, area roots and um, you know, get a bigger, fullier plant. Made up my mind, I'm just gonna keep this one like this. And hope it actually creates a really good root system. So that's my first cutting. 
this is was so you guys can see this is my first cutting um, I decided that I'm going to keep this long cutting like this I'm gonna submerge all this side of the stem in water so when I transplant it into soil the soil is going to cover up to up here and it's going to create a, a better root system and obviously create a better growth for this plant so you guys can see it's going to create more more roots on each area root and this is going to go under soil and it's just going to go grow a lot faster So like I said, I'm going through the leaves that are super damaged. See, and if you guys can see, you guys can see the shoots are already coming out. So with this plant, I think I'm just gonna make a cutting right in between. Cause it has a pup here, another one there, another one there. It looks like one's coming out here to the side. So by me cutting up to here, it's just going to um, push it to create more growth. See, once again, have a bunch of area roots where it's actually going to come well, it's going to create a more root and this will be a brand new plant and lastly same thing for this one due to the damage create a lot more growth i'm gonna do my cut here I'll pro I'm probably going to lose the sleeve, no problem. I'm just going to pull it off now because I don't want it to rot in water. So my cut is going to be right here. You guys can see. So now I got three large cuttings that I'll be propagating in water. And then these are gonna be the basically the mother plant. So now these are gonna go a lot faster because it has already a good um, root system. And it's probably gonna be a lot fuller and have a lot more uh, stems. So that's it you guys i mean this is as easy as it go this is going to sit in water propagation for about two to three weeks once i start seeing some type of uh some type of roots then i'll just go ahead and switch it back to um soil and this is it Have a clear cup of water. And I just like a clear uh, cup of water just so I can see the, uh, the actual growth. There we go. And I actually decided to cut a little piece off and just uh, put it because it has like a little stem right there and just to do an experiment and see if it actually creates more of a root system so we'll see now this time i'm gone for us thank you for watching guys